Hi everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. It's Halloween and I really want to make a pumpkin, but if only I had some sort of way I could make one that was cooler and far more nerdy than just cutting a face into it. If only. Portal 2 is one of the best video games ever made, and a few years ago I had a stab at designing a portal turret style pumpkin. This year though, I have redesigned it from the ground up. Now the real question is, which pumpkin do I use? I feel this one might be a bit more portal turret shaped. So now we've got our pumpkin, time to have a look at the parts. And here they are, here are our parts. So I'll take you through one by one quickly. So we've got the base, this is what your pumpkin will sit on. This will be inserted through the base of the pumpkin. You've got some spikes here to help hold it in place. And then underneath you've got the three holes which your legs will slot into. So let's move on to the legs. You've got your rear leg, which will go in to the back here. And then you've got your two front legs, which will go in to the front here. Now if we move on to the legs themselves, the front two also have some caps, there's no function to these other than being aesthetic, but these will clip on over to the top of that. You'll actually need to glue these on, I haven't put any clips on them, but that will just hold in place. I mean, it could just sit there, but to make it rock solid, pop a bit of glue on there, that'll lock on place. And then we've got the turrets themselves. So if you remember correctly with the portal turret, you've got the bits that stick out the side that have the guns on. So this is them, one each side. And then from each of these would be two arms. Now, for all of this, the arms that go onto the turrets as well as the legs that go into the base, they'll all push in and they'll hold in absolutely fine. But for an extra bit of strength, you can put a touch of glue on these bars and the legs and the leg caps before they get inserted just to hold them in place. But it will work fine without that as well. So, We've got the arms that go in here, and then you've got to decide what you want for your turrets. So, we've got more traditional, they're white or silver in the game. You've got the gun turrets like that. But because it's a pumpkin, and I've already gone with this for the leg caps, I figured that it would make sense to go for an orange aesthetic for the gun turrets. So. I'm probably going to go for these. Uh, so you've got that. You've got that for either side of the um, portal, of the, uh, the turret. And then that slots into the centre part of your turret. This will sit in the middle of the pumpkin, so it doesn't matter what colour you print it in, because no one's ever going to see this. Once you've got your base slotted in, this will go in to uh, that base like that. And then this holds your side turrets in place, one each side. And then the final thing is, of course, the eye. So the eye on the portal is a glowing red disc in the middle. And uh, so I've got it nice and simply is just a ring of LEDs. There we go. A uh, ring of LEDs which glow up. Now, obviously, that doesn't look like the eye of a portal right now. So I designed a little lens that you could print that would go over it to hopefully shape the light a bit. And I came up with this. So this is the front of the lens. It's just a flat object, so it doesn't look out of place. The back of the lens that sits over the LEDs has these different holes and lines that are supposed to shape the light. So if I put that in place and test it, you can see that it kind of works, but it still doesn't really look like a portal eye. And so that wasn't really going to work for me. So I tried to design another one. So again, the front of this looks just plain and flat. And on the back, it's a lot more hollow and allows the light to transfer sideways from between the LEDs and then go down the lines. So let's try that one. So that one, it's still not perfect, but it's a lot better and I'll definitely do for now. So I'm pretty happy with that one. We'll stick with that for the light. Okay, so now we've had a look at that. Time to carve up our pumpkin so we can put a skeleton in. Come on, fella. 
So before cutting my pumpkin, the next step I'm going to do is draw the cut lines onto the pumpkin to make sure my measurements line up. Okay, so it's time for the messy part. Right, time to go and put a skeleton in this guy. Okay, so I have now cut the pumpkin. You can see that I've cut both of the wings that will be attached to the turrets off the side. We've got the hole for the eye with a recess around the eye and the line down the middle. And then we've got the hole in the bottom for the base slot. Obviously you wanna make sure that's all measured up so the parts will fit correctly, but uh, let's get on and get things fitted. Now I've already glued together the, the legs so I didn't need to do that now. Uh, so it's just a matter of popping the base of this into the base of this pumpkin. And there we go. That can be pushed down a bit more onto the spikes. And that's not going anywhere. Okay, so next we need to fit the center block. This is the center block. This is the part that we're going to slot inside the pumpkin into the base that we've just fitted. When you're fitting this, make sure that on the side here, these holes, the flat section, the flat side is facing towards the back of your pumpkin. So the next step is to take your wing, the side part of your pumpkin, and attach it to your turrets. So what you want to do is, if you look at your turret, you'll see on the side here are these spikes. They're designed to basically push in and hold these wings of your pumpkin. The top ones are hooked and the bottom ones are just spikes. So you can hook it in at the top and then rotate it in to push it in. So let's give that a try. And there we go. Uh, the next step is to place these turrets inside the turret itself. So you might find it easier to fit the eyepiece without the wings in there. So we'll take them out for a second and then we'll just slot the eye into the hole that we've cut. So we can then just pop the wings on and it's done. So let's have a look how it comes out. And there we have it. There is a pumpkin that's been turned into a bad-tempered sentient gun turret from Portal with an aim that a stormtrooper could laugh at. I popped a link in the description below to all the parts that I've designed for this so you can make it yourself along with some easy to use pumpkin carving tools that might make that first stage a little bit easier for you. This year, whilst I've made it sort of look the part, next year I'm planning on going all out. I'm going to be adding motors, servos, a voice box, the lot. It's not just going to look like a portal turret, it is going to walk, talk and act like one too. So keep an eye for that video next year. If you do happen to make one of these yourself, don't forget to pop a photo of it into the make section on printables.com. And then you could also pop a link to that in the comments below so people that watch the video can also see your makes. I would love to see your experts carving skills in work and also what sort of things like the color combinations you decide to go for and other things like that i would love to see your make so make sure you post them if you've got any questions or comments don't forget to pop them below otherwise like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time have a fantastic halloween thanks guys